Welcome to Teaching in Second Life. My name is Dr. Michael Demers, and I will be your instructor for the next 10-day workshop. My biography above provides you with an indication of my background and credentials. Briefly, besides having several degrees, I have a graduate certificate of online teaching and learning, research publications related to teaching in virtual worlds, and five years experience teaching in Second Life. This workshop leverages that background to assist you in your preparation to teach in Second Life. The next slides introduce you to the workshop. This information will prove invaluable to getting the most out of the workshop, so please take some time to review this material. This workshop is aimed at intermediate users of Second Life. It assumes the skills you learned in the Introduction to Second Life workshop delivered by Bethany Bobard. Its purpose is to provide the practitioner the skills that support pedagogy within Second Life. The previous slide suggested an intermediate level of knowledge. If you have not taken the beginning Second Life course, you should have the prerequisite skills. These skills include chat instant messaging, use of chat history using the Control H button, setting up voice, hearing voice, moving, changing group tags, retrieving and delivering inventory, teleportation, using note cards, offering friendship, and basic building skills. Failure to have these skills will severely restrict what you can learn from the workshop. On February 1st, from 4 o'clock to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, your course producer, Bethany Bobard, will provide an introduction to the workshop. She will allow you to introduce yourselves and will guide you through discussions of any Second Life issues you might have and provide a discussion of the live in-game sessions you will experience. Finally, she will explain the certificate requirements to you. It is a good idea to attend this workshop, especially if you are relatively new to the virtual world environment. following slides provide you with the detail of the workshop itself. The primary workshop objectives are 1. Investigating the use of teleportation to gather students together. 2. Investigate the use of groups to organize students. 3. Begin creating a student survival kit. and 4. Investigate different methods of preparing your students to learn for delivery content. There are three types of activities for this workshop. The first requires you to view three introductory videos about using Second Life for education and or reviewing the transcript. Second, you will be asked to post to the course discussion introducing yourself, asking questions, or describing what you have learned through previous courses or experiences. You will also be asked to post your real and Second Life names to help me keep track of who I assign grades to. You should attend the pre-course introductory Illuminate session so that you can ask questions prior to the final step attending three in-game sessions in which you will receive your graded assignment. 
it is important for you to think about not just what is presented, but think about how you are being taught as well. That too is part of your learning and will be important for your last graded assignment. The first in-game section requires group activity, so please do your absolute best to be there for that section as the activities are hard to recreate without the group. In the first part of the assignment, of assignment one, you will investigate the utility or lack thereof of using teleportation and instant messaging to gather your students together to begin learning. The second graded portion of the first workshop allows you to investigate the utility of using groups to gather students together. You will be asked to start the process of creating a group and document your understanding of the process. The second in-game experience will begin with an exercise in basic building and texturing to refresh your memory. You will then be expected to create your first student gift box, essentially a survival kit for your students, and give it a nice look for delivery. Besides creating the box, you will be required to describe what you will put into your survival kit and why. As part of the experience, you will be taught how to select an individual prim face and texture it. Finally, in preparation for your third in-game experience and as an extension of the texturing exercise, you will retrieve a slide presenter and will have an opportunity to add textures or slides as you might when you want to deliver a lecture in-game. The final in-game exercise will begin with a fun exercise to show you how to bring prims to life. This exercise is meant to get you thinking about how to engage your students in the building process in Second Life. You will also be shown a number of different methods of delivering learning experiences for your students, such as using automated text chat, using the Speakeasy HUD, demonstrations, slides, etc. You will be asked to review the methods you have both experienced and have been taught to provide a ranked list of your preferred methods of content delivery. The workshop is all about doing and experiencing Second Life for Education. There are no correct answers as the answers will be unique to you and your situation. There is a focus on reflecting on what you learned both by experience and as direct content. What you are required to do is 1. Attend two of the three in-game sessions with special attention to the first in-game session. And 2. Complete all three in-game exercises and, of course, turn them in. I do hope you enjoy the workshop. Full participation in all aspects of the workshop will bring you the fullest learning experience and hopefully the most satisfaction. I look forward to seeing you in game.